Hello guys and welcome to my very first proper video. This video is going to be primarily a symbol test. Uh, I got some Minol Classic Customs Dark Heavy Crashes recently and they sound wonderful and I can't wait to show them off to you guys. My steel snare drum that I have built, if you've, been, if you've been following my Instagram and my Facebook then you will have seen pictures of that. In fact, I will go and get it for you now. Here it is. <laughs> it's very, it's not, in a, it's not in the best shape to be honest. I think this was quite an old snare drum, I think I got the shell for free. It does need a bit of cleaning up, I'm going to get some WD-40 actually because that works quite well for cleaning, uh, for cleaning steel snare drums. I had to replace one of the lugs, there it is, you can tell because it's, let get up to the camera. You can tell because it's a little bit shinier than there's an old one, and there's a new one, Look a bit shinier in the screws, the tension rod, sorry. Uh, the new as well, I had to put all new ones on the top because I, the spare ones I had were <laughs> too short unfortunately, this is quite, I think this is a 6 inch, I think it's a 14 by 6 inch which is quite a thick snare drum really. Put a new a strainer on it, it's a stag one, it's not, it's a stag one, it's not, nothing fancy, it does the trick. I put some pearl wires on the underside, Evans uh, 300 snare side. Remo Ambassador coated on the top, both of which are uh, like brand new really. It sounds it sounds quite good actually. I will be doing a sound test for you soon so keep an eye out for that one as well. Yeah the only really real issue I had was the hoops were slightly misshapen which I think is quite a big, uh, a big problem, quite a common problem. I've seen a, like a lot of videos on these like unbranded snare drums, they all look very Similar. A lot of people have complained about the same issues. Uh, without further ado, here's the symbol test. Here is the 18 inch one which I use uh, on the right hand side of the kit, mainly for riding on I guess, as opposed to uh, little stabs or accents or anything, but yeah these look so beautiful. Here is the 16 inch, uh, you can see there's starting to get a couple marks because I have <laughs> played them a little bit, that is an unfortunate thing about them, they do show marks a little bit more so than other symbols maybe, but I, that doesn't bother me at all. Look look how good these are. Yeah, this is the 16 inch one, I don't know if I mentioned that. This is more for, I use it more for accents. Just above me, hi-hat. Right next to another 16 inch bits. This one's uh, thinner. It's a Sabian, I think. I will do a video about my symbols if you guys want. Or oh, just the whole setup as well, including microphones. Just let me know. Also, when I ordered them, they came in these, these rather nice bags. But, like nice thick plastic bags with the Minel logo on. Yeah. I feel like maybe I could use them for something. We'll see. Uh, if you follow my Facebook and Instagram pages, you may have seen I've posted a picture of this microphone, which uh, I wanted to test out for a while, and now I'm using it for videos because it, it actually sounds quite good. I, th I think I got it for £15-ish from Amazon and I ordered a 
what they called? Pop filter, that's it. Pop filter with it. I think that was less than a tenner, maybe even a fiver or something like that. From Inno Gear, I think. But yeah, the microphone is a Behringer XM8500. And it's absolutely worth getting your hands on one of them, I reckon. If you if you need a budget vocal microphone, whether it's for videos or even for like actual studio recordings, I reckon it would do a pretty good job. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out my Instagram and my Facebook, which uh, there'll be links to them in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.